a homeless drifter with a history of using knives soon put Farrow at the top of their list of suspects. No sooner was Farrow being questioned on one murder, he was being questioned on two. The police forces had worked together to link him to Betty Yates' murder. That gave us ideas. I mean, Betty was a, a very um, a kind and welcoming lady. It made us think, well, has she taken him in? Um, did she know this man? Had she tried to help him? And it, it gave us a bit more to go on. Farrow refused to answer police questions, but in meetings with a mental health nurse, he opened up about his crimes. 